Old Harbor Bay Fisherman makes huge profits in the jugs for guns trade with Haiti. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! Smugglers continue to use Old Harbor Bay as a key transshipment point in the jugs for guns trade with Haiti, reaping huge profits for weapons and defying attempts by the security forces to plug one of the scores of illegal points of entries around the island. Three knowledgeable sources who have been involved in the trade of contraband reveal that gun smugglers traveling boats equipped with powerful engines and laden with up to 3,000 pounds of ganja and sometimes killers of cocaine trading the drugs for automatic rifles and handguns with their Asian counterparts. Fisher folk doubling as middlemen have built a steady network of clients ranging from deep-pocketed businessmen to gang members from Kingston, St. Catherine and St. James who are the sponsors of the expeditions. A lot of big people and gang leaders are involved in the trade. They come to us because we have the Asian Connect and we know how to manage the waters, stated one source. Most of us do deep sea fishing for a living, so we know the channel to take to avoid the Jamaican and American coast guards, he continued. Having conducted 12 successful expeditions by his own admission, which have brought in more than 100 guns, the source gave details as to how the operation is undertaken from beginning to end. Them contact us in reference to businessmen or gang members and tell us what they want to do and we make the arrangements for them to bring the drugs to us for us to store till we are ready to take off, he said. Normally we charge 50% which we take in drugs so we can get our own guns when we reach Haiti and take them back and sell to make our money, he said, revealing that assault rifles like AK-47s can fetch upwards of $400,000, with 9mm Glock pistols or .45 caliber handguns commanding $250,000 to $300,000. According to the source, the sponsors are responsible for purchasing the fuel and they sometimes supply a faster engine for the boat which must be ready to get away to give them time to dump the cargo if they encounter the coast guard. Boats carry at least 100 gallons of fuel in a secure container for a round trip that takes up to a day and a half, subject to variables such as weather or a change of route to avoid interception by the coast guard. So we collect all the merchandise and we watch the weather and the police them to make sure it is clear to load the boat. When everything is done, we take off in the middle of the night and sometimes before daybreak. When we reach Haiti, we anchor and stay upon the boat till the connection come to us. 30 pounds of weed usually swaps for one rifle and 10 pounds for a handgun. A kilo of coke normally swaps for three rifles, he said. The return trip, the source said, is fraught with the greatest danger from the possibility of Haitians double-crossing them before leaving their territorial waters, to piracy on the high seas, to the fear of encountering US and Jamaican Coast Guard vessels. Who a leap of money involved, but me done with this kind of life, so me can talk about it. Me see too much of my bridging them are dead from the same guns. Also, the police them are get high tech now, he said, referring to the ramping up of national security investment in maritime surveillance. A number of residents also revealed that they were aware of an active trafficking network involving youth from Old Arbor Bay and Haiti, a problem with which the police are grappling. The residents said that the community was gripped by fear because the guns were being used to carry out robberies and murders in the greater Old Arbor area. According to the National Security Minister, the Coast Guard has been successful in stemming the flow of guns in the island from Haiti and other Central American countries by intercepting the jug boats. When the Coast Guard intercepts a jug boat, they are also intercepting guns. But you never get the guns because the smugglers dump them overboard, Chang added. Chang divulged last year that about 2,400 guns enter Jamaica's shores illegally via 145 uncontrolled 
port of entry every year. But of concern to the security forces is that annual gun seizures represent about a third of that number, which translates to a net deficit of around 1,600 firearms. Teach them! Hey yo, yellow! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here. Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying until next time. Walk good, my friends.